What's good, guys? Hey, welcome back. Thanks to all my new subscribers, all my new followers. Thank you so much. We are actually today going to be working on the Mustang again. Yes, I know I said it, the Mustang, but other than that, uh, we're doing a couple things to it. I have it sitting over there because we cannot do it in here because I have the doors open. So what we're doing today is we're going to show you guys how to do your own stereo install on an amplifier. Boom, right there. Love it. Because we have ordered a couple other things that are going to show up. Um, so temporarily for now, we're probably just going to use my my 10-inch subs that are sitting over here that I had in uh, my truck that <laughs> I no longer have and they've just been sitting around. So we're going to be putting those in. So an easy thing. Show you guys how to run a power wire. and show you guys how to run a, a remote wire switch ground wires, all that fun stuff. We're also probably maybe putting in a capacity battery with it as well, but let's uh, just head on over to the stand. All right, so we're over here at the Mustang. So what I've been looking at is there's been a, like this right here has a little bump to it. You just can't really tell a camera, but um, there's a custom box being built. That's gonna go right here for me. Uh, it's gonna take about a week or so. But the other thing is I gotta figure out where we're gonna put the amp. I've thought about putting it on the back of the seats right here. With the battery over in the corner kind of hidden away uh, so we can still get access to it but i also thought about mounting it up here somewhere the problem is i think the box was going to be too big to uh to put up there on the top of that so we're not going to worry about that until we actually get the box um, but we are going to get the other stuff done too but first thing is we got to figure out is okay locate your battery that's what I always do, figure it out. Cause you gotta, have po you gotta disconnect positive and negative. Cause with this model way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna try to run the battery power cable through the firewall on the passenger side. See if we can find a hole on, underneath the dash here, run it down through everything and then out back towards the back here. But the problem is we've gotta get rid of the passenger seat so we gotta disconnect the battery so we don't have any issues with the airbags later or uh, issues with check engine lights or anything like that after you've pulled out the battery box and the cover across two eight millimeter screws we are now going to remove the seat an easy way to do this is it looks like there's two half inch bolts in the front and the rear so we just gotta get those pop them out and well i'm gonna show you this guys before the uh, camera dies but we actually found a punch the hole found a spot so we're gonna run it down we gotta pull this paneling off Gonna run it down underneath all this paneling here and get it to the back behind these seats here. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go charge the GoPro because uh, it's dead. And we're back. Charge it up. So what we do is see the wire right there. You pop the hole. You just can't see if you get a light. Let me show you. It's right there. Put a garment in there. It's all ready to go. We ran it down underneath the carpet here. And as you can tell, all the way back. Underneath this panel, I was gonna take this panel out right here, but it's like all of this paneling, all of this, this whole freaking panel. Fuck that. Now we're gonna take the seats out, but that's too much damn work. So, what we do is we fit underneath the panel, we fit it just underneath where the other wire runs for all the lights and everything to the back. So if you guys look, Oops. that's where she pops out. Right here where all the other wires go for the back of the trunk so we're gonna find a way or we're gonna mount the amp and where do you go from there i'm thinking like on the back of the seat here which would be a perfect spot for it because it wouldn't be in the way easy spot to put it we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get in there and whatever else so all right so like i was talking about <clears throat> this is gonna be the easy way to install this we're just gonna mount them right here we're going to actually close this back up. I'm going to go in the trunk and actually see how much room I got to work with. That looks pretty good to where the opening is. If you look, if you going to close it. So now I'm right there. That's where we're going to sit. But first we're going to close the trunk and see how they're going to go. I know. Also, yes, I know my frat battery is chewed up. I'll have to get another, another battery. Well, there's your amp and your battery. Got a little tucking on the wires. Got three more wires to run because we still got remote wire speaker wires and then the inputs off the stereo but we have to go get a part because my stereo does not have freaking 
preamp outs in the back. So we have to go get a little conversion kit. It'll convert the speakers to preamps out. So that's all we're gonna be doing today. Well now we gotta put everything back together. Well, seat back in, battery back in, helpers over there later than usual. Better late than never. And then we're gonna check uh after we put the battery in the truck car if that frat battery is gonna actually charge and hold the charge. So it's all installed. We're having a little issue trying to get the frat battery uh to hold the charge for some reason it's not holding the charge, so I'm not sure if it's just because it's 10 year 10 plus years old or what but we're gonna look into a couple ideas if not we're gonna have to buy a new one and replace it everything's back together batteries back in all all look good we have to get a new uh, clip for that so it's not gonna be plugged in for now plus we're still waiting on a couple things to show up that should be here i'm hoping tomorrow stuff came up too we gotta get this installed which will be pretty easy so we're gonna crack on one of those and uh, hopefully we get it done here soon. All right, guys. Well, we pulled the wiring off for the right side speaker. Got our wiring hooked up to plug into our plug. The left side speaker, I already did because we got the wire sitting right here. And then this plug right here is what goes into the back of the box to convert your speaker to an AV output preamp outs. So what we gotta do is we're gonna run this speaker down back here behind all this stuff to go away like the other one. And uh, yeah, we'll be done with that. I'll show you how I'm gonna mount the rest of this stuff and get it wired up. So, just getting warm out here. Okay, there it is. This one's all done. It's all tucked up. It's ran underneath here. This is where the box went. As you can see, there it is. There. There's a small little plug right there. Everything's wired, ready to go, tucked up. We gotta run AV kit plugs from here to here, or from the side of this thing through the back of the amp for the AV stuff but first off I gotta pull the dash part so we can run a remote switch wire back to the amplifier well guys here it is <laughs> uh whole freaking dash lovely anyway been researching on this <laughs> sorry guys excuse me been researching on this this wire harness does not have a freaking 12 volt accessory switch yeah it pissed me the f off so Guess we gotta find a remote access switch off something that's keyed. Fucking awesome. All right, everybody, look. We figured out what the issue was. Yes, we needed a remote 12 volt remote wire up here, which I did. And the problem is this ground actually wasn't that great. I had to take it off, clean off that bolt, and actually put it back down. So, got the subs back there. This wire is not gonna stay permanently because of how long it is. We're just gonna get some short three foot ones. And tuck it off the uh, inputs off of this guy. Uh, a couple more things we gotta get. I just gotta get a um, remote wire for that so we can put in our little uh, uh, remote for the base turned down and everything else. But everything is back together. Can't even tell it's in there. These subs are not staying in here. I'm having a box that's built. These are two tens. What's going in here is actually two twelves. As soon as the box shows up, they're going to install it, uh, the wiring and everything for me. And get ready. You guys haven't seen yet. It's a bubble! Bubble. And bubble. is to replace the box because look what else we got. Fine. Yeah, we have a custom built box. Yeah. We could have fun installing these today. He's excited. All right, so since we got these out, let's talk about these for a second. These are pile prowlers, powers, 1600 watts capabilities, 12 inches, which is really nice for our amp that we got going on, 12 inch. This is actually a custom box that's built. I'll walk you details a little more on that later, but as you can tell, as it's cut, because we have that little lip that is in the back of um, the trunk, so that fits in there nice and nice and tight, custom built box. So we're gonna open these guys up and uh, Take a look and see how good they are. Here goes nothing. 
try to do this one handed here. Instruction booklet. <laughs> so there it is. Do it here. Take a look at the thing. And you won't see that. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Be careful there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to install these in there. Got to find out what screws we need because it didn't come with any. Ooh, look at that. They're installed. Now we can put said box in said car over there. Shall be interesting. And I have to help it. Well, box is in. It's wired. Now, since I showed you guys how that was cut out, because I got that weird, stupid little lip thing right there. Yeah, that's how it's going to fit. This is going to slide up in there. We got the camera lady hold the camera. It goes up just like that. And pretty. There we go. Just like that. So if you look at that, see the little lip? Kind of matches up with the rest of the chunk. You just got to tuck away some wires. That's what it looks like. Then we're going to turn it on here in just a second. Well, that's them installed. All the stereo amp wiring. Easy stuff. You know what you're doing. That's how we do DIY freaking videos. So, yeah, I'm covering the freaking thing. No GoPro. I have to use the phone. So, but anyway, that's it for that video. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Like it, share it, comment. Get the channel growing off and stuff. Anyway, thanks all my new subscribers. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.